Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel where I'm breaking down the Week 17 games here in the NFL. I'll break down all of Week 17's, game, 17's games here right on this YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe to my page to get all of my Sports Talk videos delivered directly to your inbox on a daily basis. In an AFC North matchup, the Baltimore Ravens will travel to Cincinnati to take on the Bengals. Both of these teams have clinched playoff spots. Cincinnati is firmly solidified into that sixth seed, uh, the second wild card in the AFC. They come into this game uh, with a record of 9-6, and six, while the Ravens come into this game with a record of 10-5, and five, having clinched the AFC North last week when they beat the Giants um, at home in what was a dominating performance. Uh, the only way the uh, only way Baltimore seeding could change is if by chance the Patriots lose and Baltimore wins, uh, they would leapfrog uh, the Patriots uh, for that third seed uh, because they beat the Patriots earlier in the season. Uh, I don't see the Patriots losing, and I don't know how much you know. I don't know where that comes into play. Is it worth really selling out, playing all your starters? the full game when you know you have to play the next week. Even if they were to get the three seed uh, and leapfrog the Patriots, they would essentially have to play Cincinnati again next week. And I don't think that's something um, that they would want to do anyway. But uh, Cincinnati comes into this game 9-6 and six after a very emotional win last week uh, versus the Steelers. Kind of like a symbolic hurdle that this team jumped beating the Steelers, when it counted, uh, it clinched them a playoff spot. I think for this team and this organization, uh, that was sort of a big moment. And, uh, you know, they, they, they're now locked into the wild card. Um, this is a team now in a very tough division, has made the playoffs two years in a row, and um, you know, it remains to be seen in the playoffs uh, what they can get accomplished here. As far as the Ravens go, though, I think it's good for their fans that they got a, a performance like they did uh, this past week in that, uh, you know, they won. They won a game against a good opponent that they absolutely needed to win. So now you look at it. Uh, the Ravens are division champs. They're, they'll have a home playoff game in the wild card round. That home playoff game, again, most likely will be against uh, the Colts and um you know, I like that matchup for the Ravens, but that's still a week away here. The Ravens last week, uh, Joe Flacco. You showed the good Joe Flacco. Uh, I know sometimes when I preview these games, I hate to make it sound like one team's success or failure is based on one player, but we've just seen too many instances where uh, the Ravens fall into that category. When Flacco is giving the defense something to worry about and something to account for, it makes their offense entirely different. I think it even has a trickle-down effect to the other offensive players and to the defense. So I look for that being a huge factor for them heading into the playoffs. As far as this game goes, the Baltimore has more veteran players uh, than Cincinnati does. Uh, Baltimore's a team that's been around the block before, um, knows about the rigors of the playoffs. They've had especially a tough season this year, uh, dealing with some health-related issues. So I look for them more so than Cincinnati. Uh, to really take this advantage, to rest some guys they need to rest. I think that win they got last week was just a big sigh of relief for the whole organization. Uh, you saw Ray Rice say that uh, in his press conference after the game, that you know they're really going into last week. They put things in perspective. They said, you know, let's come out here, let's win a division title, and let's get that first home playoff game. And, um, you know, I think it's a big deal for the Ravens to win this division. That's two years in a row now they've won the division. And, um, again, I, I actually expect them to play pretty well in the playoffs. But as far as this game goes, look for them to rest some players as the game goes on. I think all the normal guys will start the game. Um, but look for them to rest more guys than I think the Bengals will. Uh, the Bengals, 9-6. and six. Uh, I think Andy Dalton, very underrated. Uh, you know, he, he wasn't great last week, uh, but he was good when he needed to be. That was a clutch pass he threw after that interception by Roethlisberger, that 21-yard pass to A.J. Green on the sideline to set up the game-winning field goal. Uh, Cincinnati's defense, I feel, is extremely underrated. They've been at or near the top uh, in sacks uh, as a team this entire season. Uh, I don't think... Uh, because he's been around so long, Marvin Lewis quite gets the credit he deserves as far as bringing this young team along as quick as he's brought them along. 
this is a team that you have to remember a couple years ago they were dealing with the whole Carson Palmer situation, the whole Chad Johnson situation, and now you know look at them now. They have a nice young core both on defense and on offense. They've made the playoffs again the last two seasons out of what I think is the toughest division in football. They beat the Steelers at Pittsburgh last week. Tons of momentum. As far as this game goes, Marvin Lewis has been quoted as saying, uh, you know, they've been in this situation uh, twice in recent years, and they've chosen to rest starters, and they don't think it prepared them well in the playoffs. So he's, he, he made it sound like and, and, and alluded to the fact that their starters will play a lot, if not the whole game. So I, you know, I have no reason not to take Marvin Lewis at his word here. So I think, anyway, uh, younger team, they'll probably play their starters more than, than uh, Baltimore will. A lot of this comes down to a guessing game, what you hear from the coaches during the week, etc. Uh, but I like uh, the Bengals minus three at home this week uh, against the Ravens as both teams sort of uh, gear up and head to the playoffs. Um, so again, Bengals minus three. I think you'll see the Bengals actually travel to Foxborough in the wild card round to take on the Patriots, and you'll have uh, the Ravens uh, hosting Indianapolis in the other wild card game. So a lot on the horizon for these two teams. They'll try to get everyone healthy heading into that game. Uh, Cincinnati minus three in this game, guys. Be sure to subscribe to my page and check out my other previews and all of my other uh, daily sports talk videos. Uh, catch me on Twitter as always too, at S News Analysis. That's at S News Analysis. Have a good day.